A new law is meant to open up money to relatives or close family friends that take temporary custody of a child removed from a troubled home, but a funding dispute could hold it up. Senate Bill 151 was passed unanimously this year by Kentucky lawmakers and signed into law shortly after by Governor Andy Bashir, free of political drama. But Cabinet for Health and Family Services officials say that the money might not be there to implement the law, saying they need about $20 million to pay for additional staffing and the cost of care. The bill's sponsor says that she and other lawmakers were told during the session that the cabinet could absorb the cost of the bill and the cabinet may not have a choice. The governor's spokesperson placed the funding fall on the General Assembly and says a state Supreme Court ruling backs up the, their argument that there are limitations to implementing policy if the General Assembly didn't fund it. So, Senator Thomas, I want to begin with you here. Who is in the right? Who is in the wrong? Is anybody in the right or wrong at this? Well, first of all, let's talk about what Senate Bill 151 does so, so your viewers can understand what it is. Senate Bill 151 says when relatives take in uh, children who are family members because the parents are unable to take care of them, that they now can receive what we call kinship care, you no know, money to help pay for the child. Prior to Senate Bill 151, uh, if you were a family member that took care of a child, you couldn't get any state funding. You had to go through the foster care system to do that, which seems wrong. If you're taking care of a child and you're doing it for the benefit of the child and you're helping out the state, you should get funding for it. I will tell you uh, that Secretary Freelander, uh, the, the, the cabinet secretary for the Cabinet for Health uh, and Family Services, sent a letter to Senator Rocky Adams on February 8th pointing out that he was in favor of this bill, but said in that letter that the, that the bill needed an appropriation. For whatever reason, that was not done by the General Assembly. And I'm a member of the General Assembly, so we didn't do what Secretary Freelander had asked. When Governor, Bill, Governor Bashir signed the bill, and you had a picture of him signing the bill on April 5th, he signed the bill on April 5th, mm -hmm. he said then that I'm signing this bill, but I'm going to ask the General Assembly when we come back on April 12th and April 15th, to add an appropriation to this because there's no appropriation. And he did mention that in the letter that was sent on April 10th. Right, and, and, and that was not done. So by all accounts, we fumbled the ball here. It's a good bill. Governor, Secretary Freelander wanted it. Governor Bashir wanted it. But we didn't fund it. And, and as, as you indicated, a constitutional law expert said, when you've got a bill that has an appropriation and you don't fund it, then that bill is essentially null and void. Well, I want to bring in Senator Tishner on this. Is it worth getting into a political scuffle if it's holding up help for kids that are in tough situations here? If we're helping kids, it's definitely worth getting into a political scuffle over. Um, really what we had with this bill, there was a fiscal note on this bill and it, it indicated that there was not going to be any expense to implement this bill. And that was pre presented in the Senate subcommittee and Senate sub. And then when it moved through, it triggered uh, the cabinet to look into it as it was moving through the House. They added a Senate subcommittee. They met with Julie Rocky Adams, indicated they needed a significant amount of funding. And um, they al altered the bill in order to make it move through and did not come and testify against it. So we're at a spot where we have children who have an opportunity to be placed with their relatives, with people that they know, which in a situation where a child's going to be removed from their home, this is obviously the best thing that can be done. And we need to make sure this is implemented as soon as possible. We have the, com the cabinet coming back to us um, at our next committee, and I'm hoping that they're going to give us some type of explanation to why they can't and what the money's going to be needed for. They indicated $20 million is what they need. I'd like to see why. Um, I, especially since the fiscal note did not indicate that there was any necessary got funding. About 30 seconds left here, Senator Thomas. What do you think, why should that amount of funding be needed? Bodie, because uh, as Secretary Freelander has indicated, we, don't get, we won't get reimbursed for that money. And Bodie, we're sitting on $5 billion. Why can't we, the General Assembly, appropriate $20 million? Why, why couldn't we have done that on April 12th or April 15th? when we were told as early as February 8th that we needed this money. I mean, again, we have, we have fumbled the ball here, and, it's, and the fix is pretty obvious. Have President Stivers and, and, and Speaker Osborne go back to Governor Bashir and let's tr maybe have a special session for five days and get this fixed. Well, I'll have to stop you right there. We're out of time, but I want to thank you both for your insight. We'll be right back with Point of Order.